another episode of the Easy Corner. My guest, um, it, it's a privilege. This is my first guest outside the city of Houston. This yes, is about, we, we, we talking about Lancaster. We talking yeah. about the legendary Lancaster. We talking about out there in Dallas. You, you, okay, do you guys claim Dallas or is it just Lancaster? It, it, no, we, we claim both. You know, Lancaster's really like in Dallas. So okay. We I, just, just make, I just have to make sure Lancaster, yeah. Dallas, all state, Mr. Yes, all state himself. <laughs> 2021, are you the best? Are you the best guard in 2021? Hey, yeah, I know it. <laughs> Hang on, Brad, right, though. No. Yeah, it's whatever. 2021, Mr. Way Taylor, man, man. Welcome to the easy corner, man. You say it's bad. Man, listen, it's just kind of ironic how, how, how I met. Literally, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tell the story. Two, two days ago, Hoop Insider asked the tweet question who should be the 5A? The five, if you had a 5A All Star team, who would it be? Okay. Yeah. I put, I put Mike Miles, your, your backcourt mate, Mike Miles. Yes. Sir. Self. You know, I'm from Houston. Bryce Griggs is a dog. I, I love my yeah. Bryce, Bryce Griggs is a dog. Ramon Walker, he played on the mm -hmm. Union Circuit. Shadow Creek. Shadow Creek. And then Hayes yeah. Hefner. The, the, uh huh. Yeah, 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 from, yeah right. Yeah, from, from me. So, I'm, so since you're from Dallas, so you 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 are familiar with these guys. So this, uh -huh. I, I just want to talk about talk about how you were just a student of the game. Well, that's that's my first question. Just student of the game. I mean, you know, I just respect everybody. You know, everybody comes with you know different aspects of the game, and you can learn from one another. So they can learn from you. So I know all those guys you just named. Really, I haven't I haven't really seen Ramon play, but I heard of him. You know, I I've been knowing Bryce since we was like you know kind of young, going to camps and stuff. And I don't. Uh, I played against Hayden uh, in Houston when he was with the Defenders. Yeah. And I seen him. He he's pretty good. So, do you think that by that five, did I get it right? Would you Would you roll with those guys? Yeah, I roll with those guys. Everybody <laughs> dog, you know. So, you know how that go. Lancaster. Yeah. Um, I've been on record saying that you guys are the best team in the state because the fact is, like I said, you. And it is regardless of classification. Yeah, it's regardless. A five, six A or five A. Yeah, I, you guys beat some tough teams. You guys play teams like Prolific Prep, but mm -hmm. you guys also beat probably the top two teams in in six A in the state in Duncanville and Dickinson. Mm -hmm. But I can't sit here a lot of you, man. I can't sit here a lot of you. I, you guys are just you guys are a great team. But just talk about the season and you know how um, fun it was this year. It, it was. It was a. I don't want to say it was a great season because you know I'm still we're still hoping to finish it out. So it it it, it was been it's it was fun. You know we we bonded so well from you know losing last year. So that just had us that made a, that made a chip on our shoulder. You know to just come out and show that we really we really we the real deal. And that just made the whole season fun. You know knowing you had a target on your back, knowing that everybody wanted to beat you, just made us play even harder. Man, just give me some 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 games that you just really just that really just sticks out to you this season because at the end of the day, like, um, it, it gets to a point that y'all ranked in the country. So like you yeah. have one of the best teams, not just in the state but in the country. So just uh -huh. give games that stick out. Of course, we played Duncanville. You know, the first game of the season. It's you know everybody was at that game. Um, we played prolific, and when we played um, Dickinson the second time in the softball tournament the championship, that was a that was probably one of the best games of the season. And then when we played uh, Dallas Kimball to go to state, that those. The, the biggest four games that we had probably this year. What's the misconception do you want people to know about Dallas basketball? Because at the end of the day, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm from the H, but the, mm -hmm. I, I respect what you guys do. You guys have a plethora of talent, but what is the biggest misconception about Dallas basketball? Um, Everybody can hoop. I mean, you know, people just – some people say we soft, but you know mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see it. You know, because every time we come to play, I mean, it's it's a dog fight. Where we just be ready for anything. This is why exactly I want to interview you because your dog mentality. People is just like he just wills his team. He is the energizer. Mm -hmm. My boy Kyrie, aka backcourt mixtape. Yeah. He he told me he was just like Wade is different. Like it's a dog fight when you with him. Talk mm -hmm. about that dog fight mentality that um, you have just, specifically. I mean, it's just. Your will to win, you know. I just look up to my sister a lot, you know, my family, my teammates, of course, my friends. They just all, you know, 
pour good energy into me and that just made me want to do better for the community, you know, my school. And it's just it's just about winning at the end of the day. You know, you gotta learn, you know, you don't learn, you don't live. So it's not you, talk about, you talk about winning. I said there's two schools that that that's gonna define a decade. And I I say Lancaster Lancaster mm-hmm. and Yates. I just think yeah. every year it, it's it, 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 it's one of them that's dead is like damn near what's guaranteed in life is like death, taxes, and one of yeah. you guys going to state. So like just uh-huh. talk about the tradition of Lancaster. And, oh, and, that, that, and please talk about the head coach too, man. Because Oh yeah, the, the tradition is different than Lancaster. That that kind of that kind of made me choose to go to Lancaster. You know, I had a couple a couple of choices to come out of high school, you know, but Lancaster just really stood out to me the way that, you know, they just follow they just follow the team. Like no matter what, they're gonna all we're gonna always bleed orange and black. And Coach Doug, he's just man, he's the best coach you can have. He pushes you every day. I mean, he might get on your nerves, but he loves you, so that's why he do it. And that and he's the reason that we were in San Antonio. He's the reason why we we're thirty six and one. You know, he just he just does everything, and he I don't think he get enough credit for that, but. I'm gonna give it to him. He, he's probably he's the best coach in America. Why do you believe he doesn't give no uh, enough care? Because I can't lie, he is a great coach to Man. me. I'm still I, I still have a gripe to pick with him because four years ago he beat my Elkins Knights yeah. in the state championship, and I've still been salty ever since. But uh-huh. it's okay. But I respect. But I respect what he yeah. does. I respect what he does with a coach. But what does he bring out of you that we really every we hadn't already seen because Wade, you're a high energy guy. Like you play with passion, you play with emotion. Everybody I mean, I, sees I, that. I, I feed off him. I mean, he, you see how he when he's coaching, yeah. how passionate he is, and he just he probably sweats more than we do. I mean, he just he plays defense while we playing defense. He just he coaches his heart out. So I mean, why not play my heart out? You know. We all know about you and Mike Miles, but give shout out some names that, especially in the city, Houston that we um, won't know, that we should know, because at the end of the day, you guys were 36 and one, uh-huh. 36 and one, and it, it just wasn't two of y'all. Shout out some of your other teammates. Of, of, of course, my, of course, I started five, you know, Marco Foster, mm-hmm. Jalen Williams, Kentrell Hall, we got a couple bench guys coming off, um, Roger Yarbrough, um, oh, God, man. It's, it's, it's so many, Darius Davis, Kobe Diller, this is so many guys that we had that just could bring anything to the table. You know, they could be ready for that night. So, I mean, we had all 15. What was the what was the mood coming into the season? Because at the end of the day, you, we know that after a bitter loss in the playoffs a year ago, but I, I knew that you and Mike Miles, y'all are here to make things right um, and make sure the job gets done. What was the conversation between you, specifically you two, Oh, that we that, that we had to get it done. I mean, because we, we don't want to be considered as, you know, being a bust. I mean, we had we had great seasons, but we just couldn't get the job done. So that's what we talked about all summer. I mean, last summer was probably the toughest summer me and him had, you know, just going off that loss, knowing we, we weren't supposed to lose like that. So that just really made us just practice hard, work out hard, because we th- in the back of our mind, we didn't get our job done. So that's that was that was the conversation. So to feel you to, to – full- I, uh, right now, um, we don't know what's going to go on for, for San Antonio mm-hmm. if you're going to get that match with Hightower. But, like, how is the team feeling right now, knowing that, you know, especially Mr. Mike Miles, who's a senior, yeah. that probably wanted this as bad uh-huh. as, as anybody, just, just just as bad as anybody. Just you just touch on that, man. How, how, yeah, how it's, it's, it's kind of tough right now because, like, like you said, you don't know what's going to happen. So we're just staying prepared, you know, still working out, seeing each other, you know, just staying ready for when they do say it's that time, we'll still be ready. What, what do you tell your team? Like, as one of the leaders of the team, what do you tell your team in, in, in this moment? Because I know you guys are staying ready, but at the end of the day, Wayne, I, I, the expectations, I believe that you're a vocal guy. I believe that you're not – you're going to let your team have it. Like, hey, listen, mm-hmm. like, job's not finished. Until they yeah, say, it's not. It, 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 until it's not. they say no – the job is not finished. Mm-hmm. What are you telling your team vocally, though? I'm just telling them to keep their head up, you know, that, that eventually we will. Hopefully we will get a chance to show why we're the best team in Texas, regardless of classification. Yeah. And, like, they just – I mean, they're listening. You know, they tell me stuff. I tell them stuff. We just have – our team just have a really great bond. So that's what makes us, you know, that's what makes us the best. 
where does this leadership actually come from? Because at the end of the day, like I said, my boy backcourt has said that you, you're a dog. It's going to be a dog fight. It, it, it's a dog fight every time you step on the court. Where does this leadership come from? I mean, it can only come from two places, you know, my family and the man above. I mean, my family, they mm -hmm. that just leadership can take you a long way, you know. So I just, I will always live by that. Man, talk about your family, man, and how much they've meant to you, like, and how much, like, they motivate you to be not just a, a basketball player, but as a person. Man, they're, they're everything. I mean, from being since I was so young, they've been at every game. So I go to every game expecting to see them in the crowd, hearing them. That just that just pushed me to do to do the best I can because I know that at the end of the day, win or loss, and they would be there, they would be there to keep my head up, you know, tell me I did good, tell me what I did bad, and it's just you know, being regardless of if the ball when the ball stops stopping, when the ball stops dribbling, I mean, you you gotta have a backup plan. They just tell me that you know life is all about sports. You know you gotta be a great person, and I just always I just always listen to it. Man, what fuels you after you know every everything? What 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 feel fuels you this time around, knowing that you know like Dallas is a staple for basketball and has produced great basketball players. What fuels you to 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 be one of the top point guards, not just like in the city of Dallas, but across the state of Texas? I mean that that those expectations. I want to be like you know the boss. I'm driven. I want to be one of those guys that they talk about. You know that that's lived on to you know achieve what they was expected to do, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just don't want to – that's why I work hard every day, you know, just to be the best I can be. Hey, you, were you going back to Urban DF Dub? Yeah, we we uh, actually combined with uh, YGC, and we call oh, it okay. Southern Assault. So, you know, I'll be playing with Southern Assault, and, you know, I'm still – I'm always an urban kid. Okay, so I, so, so, so my question is this. If it, like, I asked a, a, a few people, mm -hmm. like, does it matter – for the circuit work, does it matter? Is the circuit so important? Because like I asked SMU point guard Kendrick Davis, because mm -hmm. before he went to um before he went to Texas Pro, he was actually for the Houston Hawks for sixteen uh -huh. years. Um, I I asked I asked guards like Ruben Jones that played for Kuz Elite. I, yeah. I actually interviewed I actually um, interviewed Dylan Miles the, um for for the family. So he uh -huh. was like, so they just all explained to me like, yeah, the circuit is cool and everything, but I just want to go to a place where I want to get better year yeah. after year, year after year. Why, why does staying on Urban DFW, even though you guys are on the circuit, but like the loyalty that you show them? Yeah, that's what that's what it is. It's about the loyalty. I mean, when I was in eighth grade, man, Urban DFW just came and just brought me in as a family. You know, the owner, Coach Jazzy, and my dad, they're frat brothers. So that just played a big part in it too, you know. They, I mean, I love them. They love me, and it's just, I mean, we play hard. I mean, we we get, you know, every time Urban suits up and get on the court, I mean, it's crowded. So I mean, it, it's all about the exposure, you know. I mean, just the loyalty is the main part, though. What 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 does it what does um, Urban DFW represent to you, man? Because at the end of the day, like you said, you play hard, you get after it. You still like I said, you're still crafty and, and fast. So 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 yeah. what? Putting that urban across the chest. I mean, the urban always let me play my game. I mean, you know, Coach Jan said you cannot play for him unless you're a dog. So that that really – playing up as a freshman really grew me up quick. You know, those guys didn't care what grade I was, how old I was. They they treated me like they would treat anybody else. And that really grew me up fast to, to show that people are not here playing. Like, you have to, you know, hold your own. Knowing that your AAU season, last AAU season might be in jeopardy, yeah. What goes through your mind? I mean, it's it's tough every day. I mean, I wake up every morning, you know, looking for a notification on my phone that the season is, is back or, you know, all this is done. But until then, you know, I'm just going to stay prayed up, you know, continue working just, just to see, you know, what the future holds. Does it – does it – is it like a big deal since, like, you're a junior and, you know, some of your teammates need recruitment? What do you yeah. tell those teammates? Because at the end of the day, like, you got school that has offered you and you got more schools that interest you. But what if – but for the teammates that know – that you know that need this summer, yeah. what do you tell them? I'm telling them that, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, God won't put us in this predicament if he didn't – if he didn't have a, you know, plan. So I just tell them to keep working because, you know, their work is not going unnoticed and that, you know, everybody is working for somebody. I want to get down to a nitty gritty. This is the question I have to ask you. Okay. Obviously, yeah. obviously 
you guys are going down to San Antonio to face Hightower. You, this, I know you've never heard of the easy quarter before. I interviewed Hightower right before that game. Uh -huh. This is my whole thing. This is my thing. I'm, I'm going to be real with you because th this is me. I have yeah. as much respect as I have for you. I already told myself I will not go against Hightower no more because I yeah. picked him to lose against Port Arthur. So I uh -huh. said the rest of the playoff way, I'm going, I'm going I, Hightower. I'm going Hightower. Hightower got that dog in Bryce Griggs. Yes. If that matchup were to happen, how do you how do you got how do you guys feature that hurricane wave? Because listen, there's some high tower guys on my feed right now. I'm I but I want you to be honest. I want yeah. you to tell like Man, it, it is. That 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 was gonna be the game of the if not the night, the game of the tournament. I mean, yeah. it's just it's just two teams that both have dogs, you know. They play hard, we play hard. It, it would have been a great it would have been a great game to see. Yeah, I, we were so ready to play it, you know. It, it just would have been fun. It would have been a great matchup. But high tower, they they show where while they belong, you know, we, we was ready. Were you guys looking from afar like that's probably who we're going to meet? Uh, because I know that we got – they, they have Shadow Creek in the district. So, but I, I – but is it more like – and I know Maynard is still – was still in that little final four. Yeah. At, at the regional – like regionals with them. So, did you guys expect Hightower like, – or were you guys – a little bit expect somebody different, but in the end well, I mean, no, we was we was we was expecting a lot of people, but at the same time, we was really mainly focused on us, yeah, you know, of getting, course, of course. getting out. Yeah. But you know, we was of course looking at High Tower, Wagner, and you know, Timberview, of course. Yeah. So you know, all all the teams that you know made it. it, it man, just talk about that. Man. Talk about like how did you just get introduced to the game of basketball, like? Like, like when you first saw that orange ball, when did you fall in love with it and everything, man? I, I just I, – I can't even remember that far, but I just know that, I mean, it was something that I wanted to do. I mean, I played multiple sports when I was young, but that round ball just took over when I got to that age, maybe like fifth or sixth grade. It just really stood out to me, you know. And I, once I found that I really had a shot to be great, I, I worked hard as I could to, you know, and I'm still working to be great. Mike Miles, let's talk about him, man. Your teammate, your backcourt uh -huh. mate. Are you guys the you guys are the best backcourt in the state? Right? Of course, in the country. Exactly. In hey, the country. Listen, listen, I'll take it. I'll, t I, I, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Gotta say it. What can you say about him that people really just don't know about him? Because at the end of the day, we know he's a good player, but yeah. everybody says that he's quiet and reserved and laid back. Yeah. What do they not know? What What does People not know about him that you specifically like just know about. Man, Mike Mike works hard. I mean, people don't people don't see it. You know, he's a he's a great leader. He he took on a role this senior year that I've never seen nobody take on. He 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 led us to San Antonio with his leadership. You know, his work ethic, and we just all feed off him. You know, he said that we wouldn't lose. He he made a post on Twitter that if we didn't make it to stay, it was his fault, and he he kept that promise. Thirty six and one. Was he robbed of the player of the year in this state? Even though I love Greg Brown. Yeah, of yeah. course, Greg Brown is the guy. But, like, when you go solely off of winning and competition, has yeah. had, Mike Miles should have been yes, player of the year. I, I, think, I think everybody but, but Make that case. Make that case, Wade. But, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. Mike, no, Mike, he's still going to college. You know, mm -hmm. all the players, you know, all the top players in Texas that had a chance to get that award are, are good. So, you know, you know, it is what it is. Man, man, just talk about Dallas basketball in general. Like, look at the last couple of years. You guys, Davion Harmon, Tyrese mm -hmm. Maxey, Cade Cunningham, um, RJ Hampton, yourself, Mike Miles, and it just keeps growing and growing and gro growing. What is it about Dallas that these national prospects are coming out and making a, making a mark, not yeah. just on the state, but making a mark across the country? I mean, it shows you how hard we work. I mean, it Dallas just is a different breed. You know, we all we all stick together. And I'll tell you, all the people that, that you just named probably was in the gym together at one point in time. Yeah. That just showed you were in the gym how, with them, too. But you were in the gym course. with them. Yeah, that, it shows you how, you know, how we all just want to see each other be great, you know. When you're competing against guys like that, because at the end of the day, I saw last year, you took the big shot against South Garland and, mm -hmm. and, and, and knocked it down like, it ain't nothing. I'm built for this. Yeah. I'm built for this. 
when you're playing against high caliber division one all americans first round picks when you see that what does that do to your confidence knowing that you, I mean, can't it, those guys? you know of course everybody has butterflies before the game but like yeah. i told say that's a that's a great thing because they mean you're ready but when I when I play against guys like that, like you just have to be focused. Like it's, it's another, you gotta treat it as another game. But at the same time, you know there's something on the line. You can either make your name or somebody can make their name off you. First time you like, because you've probably been doing it for a long time. When you walk in the gym with those guys like that, what mm-hmm. like what's your first impression? Is it is it man, still that butterflies or just more like hey, man? It's just another day in the office. Man, both really. I mean, it's just a blessing to play against them and be, you know, be next to them. But at the same time, I mean, we all playing for the same thing. So when it comes time to make that decision to go to college, what uh-huh. are you looking for in a college program? What, what do you want? Like, what do you want? Because at the end of the day, I already know. I, I would say one, don't sugarcoat you. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're as real and as tough as it gets across yeah. the country. So, like, but just when it comes to a time to make that decision now, for the next level, what do you uh-huh. what do you want? I mean, I just want to I just want to be able to go and you know be able to play my game, not to change my game. You know, a coach that believes in me, somebody I can trust in, not just as a coach, either as a friend or a father figure, or just somebody I can lean on, just in case you know times get rough. You know, man. Other than Harrison Ingram and yourself, name some twenty twenty ones that people are probably missing the boat on. Because at the end of the day, we know twenty twenty is a strong class. Like I said, yeah. 2020 is one of the classes that I'm really going to truly miss. I'm like, that is like I feel like I've seen them grow up before our very eyes. But uh-huh. your record for 2021, who are guys just in the Dallas area or even guys across the state that we that you feel that people are, stop sleeping? Because we know Harrison Ingram and yourself, it, I think it, start, it, it starts at the top with y'all too. Like, yeah. y- 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 y'all too in 2021. Um, it's, man, it's a lot of guys, you know, Jalen Williams, Elijah Huey. It's a guy in Moody Houston named Aaron Garcia. I mean, it's, man, it, it's so many guys in the city that people just don't know about that's under the radar right now. But, I mean, it's hard to see everybody, really. So, I mean, you just got to, I guess, continue to work hard man, so they can see you. When you, you play with this you, you you play with this dog mentality, but in the end, you're you're a respectable young man. Where does that come from? Because at the end of the day, like I said, honestly, I can't sit here and lie. As I'm a I'm a high school basketball fanatic. Yeah. At the end of the day, like I said, the reason why this means so much, much this interview means so much to me because it, it comes from a guy that lives and breathes and sleeps Dallas. Some guys I, I, you know, I, I try. I have to, I have to work for myself, so I have to try to get the interview. So, mm-hmm. like, where is this respectableness, humbleness comes from? Because I DM top ranked guys; they just never, you know, they, yeah. they, they never hit me back. But like I said, when you hit me back, my face was like, "Oh my god!" He, he, yeah, he, I, 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 I did it. So, like, where did this humbleness and this respect? Like come? I said, my, my my parents, man, and you know, of course, of course, the man above. But my parents just told me that. I mean, because, look, I mean, you could have – the tables could have turned. I mean, you could have not hit me up. And I'm just, you know, out here in, in the, you know, in the blue. But, I mean, it's a blessing for you to ask me to come on the show. And, I mean, it's just – why not? You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got I, I got you. What's the message that you're trying to deliver just across across the country? Like, like, what's the message you're trying to deliver across the country just as a basketball player? Because at the end of the day, I think the best is yet to come because I saw on, like – rivals a lot of interest but them interest needs to turn into offers because yeah. what you offer a team is unquestionable like the thing about it is you do things that don't show up on the stat sheet and that's what impresses me more about your game is at the end of the day like you love to win you it doesn't matter how much buckets you get even though we know that you're a buck i'm gonna keep it yeah. a buck you are a buck but like what is the message you trying to deliver because at the end of the day you're 36 to 1 playing for the top team in the state, uh, one of the best teams in the country. What are you trying to deliver? Um, I mean, the work won't go unnoticed. Basically, you know, uh, I'm working hard to, you know, show that I'm great. And I just feel like eventually everybody will see that. Make a case for the Adidas gauntlet and what it does for you as one of the top circuits in the country, man. Uh I mean, just going into every game knowing – 
it's going to be 30 plus scouts and you know it's going to be uh, crowded you know you're going to have to focus it's just it's just a great atmosphere to play in you know everybody looks out for each other it's just it's just one big family give me five no give me four 2021s you would love to run with it, you would love to run give me four but in the state of texas but honestly yeah. Do, no, I'm not going to do this day because I've been asking everybody to pick their class in their city. Pick from Dallas for 2021s that you will run with, and then I'll pick my five people from Houston and, and, and let me see. Pick your okay. I, I, Harrison Ingram, of course. Of course. From Dallas, from Dallas. Okay. Uh, Kristen Morgan. Okay. Give, give me um, schools because I know Harrison. I'm not familiar. Oh, so, 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 so most of them. Harrison, you same, same marks. Kristen okay. Morgan goes to DeSoto. Okay. Elijah Huey goes to West Mesquite. Okay. Um, that I mean, that's three. That's three. But 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 but, but you you're including yourself, so like so. Yeah. Okay. So you're, 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 I'm three. That's three. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. Jerome Rogers goes to Madison. Okay. Yeah, and um. Oh, oh, Manny Obinsky goes to Allen. Oh, okay. Oh, Manny. Okay. I know yeah. I know Manny. He, yeah. He plays hard work? He plays hard work, yeah. Okay. So, my 2021s, let me see what I can get you, man. I'm going to start with, I, I don't know if you know Big Deuce Fathery. Yeah. From, uh, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put him in the middle. Uh -huh. at, at, at my point guard, is hard right now because, like, I like my boy Javon Jackson. From uh, uh, Shadow Creek, right? Yeah, no, no. Javon Jackson, Summer Creek. Summer Creek, I mean, my bad. Yeah, Summer yeah, Creek, so yeah, Summer Creek. So, like, I'm going to put my boy, I'm going to put my boy Javon, my boy Javon Jackson. I'm going I'm to pick Ramon. I'm, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm pick Ramon. Dang. The last two. Man, I want to say Josh Farmer, but I love my boy Josh, but I don't know what Josh be showing us so tough. But, like, yeah. clinically – like he can, he has so much potential. You know, I'm mm -hmm. I'm 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 gonna go on the limit pick farmer. And the fifth one, I'm gonna pick your boy, and he's my boy too. But I'm gonna pick yeah. him because I think people is still sleeping on him. My uh -huh. boy, PJ Neal. <laughs> I mean, oh I, yeah. I, yeah. I, because people 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 still sleep. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna choose those five. How would that match up there? Even though like Man. of course you gonna say with your win, but. How about a game like that? I mean, it's gonna be like I said, it's gonna be lit. Everybody, everybody that you named the dog, you know, everybody I named the dog. Yeah. So everybody wants to win, so we going the best will win. <laughs> top five, clear. top five players in the NBA right now. Not yo, top five. Yeah, players, well, top five players in the NBA. Your favorite top five because some people really be getting conflicted. Like yesterday, I said uh -huh. I asked somebody top five player in the NBA. Somebody said Zion Williamson, and I really want to look up him and look up and slap him. I was like, bro, yeah, he's top five right now. Though, so give me the top five five players in the NBA. Give uh -huh. me your top five favorites, and then give me your top five of all time. Okay, my top top five right now. I got LeBron. LeBron. I'm a LeBron fan, so he's gonna be number one on all of them. Ah, LeBron, LeBron Kawhi. KD, Anthony Davis. I'm gonna go with Steph. Okay, I, 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 I could. I, as, no, so, so, so Giannis is not there yet. Giannis is a. Six. Oh, oh, that's. Hey, it's. Oh no, that's tough. I, I, I can couldn't fit him in there. I, I, <laughs> couldn't fit him in there. Now, top five. <laughs> my top five would probably be LeBron, mm -hmm. Kawhi, Kawhi, KD, of course, Giannis. Mm -hmm. And then Anthony Davis. But I got a question. You said that's your top five favorite right now, but my whole thing is this. None of them are guards. So, okay, give me exactly. your top five. Well, give me your top five guards. Top, top five guards? Okay. Yeah. Westbrook. Westbrook. I love it. That's my favorite player in the league. Westbrook. <laughs> Dame. Damian Lillard. Dame. Kyrie. Kyrie. Chris Paul. Did John I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sold on Chris. Uh, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, he lead the Thunder right now. So I mean, Chris Paul and John Wall. Steph Curry's not there. I, I'm not. I'm not really a big Steph fan. Ever since he beat LeBron, he he nice though. But ah uh, no, nah, no. Nah. 
He might. He, like, he deserves take, to be in there, though. Yeah, I might take Chris Paul. Though, because, yeah, because, like I said, I believe Stephen Curry is the second greatest point guard of all time. Oof. I feel like there's – just hear me out. To me, when you put all those accolades in a room, there's only one point guard that can walk in the same room as Steph Curry, Magic yeah. Johnson. Uh-huh. So, like, so that's, so that's why I say, like, like there has not been, like, a greater five-year span at point guard yeah. <laughs> other than Magic. But top five of all time. All time? LeBron won. You already said it. Yes, sir. And, 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 and honestly, that's sick to my stomach. But I, I, I'll take it. I'll take. I'll have to take it. LeBron, MJ, Kobe, Kareem, LeBron, MJ, Kobe, Kareem, and I'm missing somebody. Magic Johnson. Magic, okay, I'll say it because a lot yeah. of people tell me to throw out names. Um, top five colleges. Colleges? Yeah. That I like? Yeah. Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee had a good year this year. Okay, Rick Barnes, okay. Yeah, Kentucky looked good this year. That's my, that's my man, Calipari. <laughs> Uh, SMU looked good this year. SMU, man. Coach Jank. Shout out Kendrick Davis. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oregon looked real good this year. Okay. Yeah. And I had to say, um, <laughs> and then Duke. You know, they, they're going to always be superior. So. Are, you, are you really a big fan of college basketball? Do you watch it? Yeah, I do. I, I watch it a lot. Okay, because I just got off the phone with a, with a guy named Miller Cop. He wants he goes uh-huh. to Northwestern. So, like, I asked him to give me the four college guys he would uh-huh. run with. Give me your four college guys. That I run with? Oh, shit. <laughs> Tyrese Bassey, of course. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I I'm said he. Definitely picking Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese. Um, Marcus Sasser from Houston. Okay. Um, Isaiah Stewart from Washington. He, okay. He's a glass cleaner. Yeah. And then one more. Uh, I don't know what his name is, but he goes to Dave. OP Toppin. That's what Miller yeah, said. Yeah, everybody, he has back. everybody been saying he, you're yes. the second person that said OP Toppin. <laughs> yeah, he has bounced. So. <laughs> Here, of course. Um, I guess, I bet I just, I guess my, my, my last question. Um, mm-hmm. Just over the years, when you think about the game of basketball, what has it done for you and how has it affected your life to shape you as the man you are today? It 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 did a it did a lot. I mean it just it keeps I, now I really live I I eat, sleep, and dream basketball. I mean it's every day my life whether I do is something considered to basketball. I mean no matter if I'm watching it, playing it it's just it's, it's always about basketball, and everybody asks me, "Do I ever go out or like you know do stuff?" I mean, when I have time, I do, but most of the time, I mean, it's straight basketball, and it just it, it's just shaped my life until where it would be basketball for the rest of my life until you know eventually it stopped dripping. Man, I remember, man, I got you, man. Go ahead, throw out your gram, your Twitter handle. Oh, get, 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 your social, get, get, your, get, get every social media because one of my boys just threw out his TikTok too. So like, yeah. like throw, throw out all your social, throw out all your social. Nah, man. nah my gram is B Wade Taylor IV, and then my Twitter is a Wade Taylor. No snap, no tick. Snap, ball and Q4. and don't say next. I made it in like seventh grade, so you it's know. All good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Man, hey, way, man, from the bottom, bro, for, for, for like a hundred, real. Yeah. Like, 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 you know, we're going to do this again. I, I, I yeah, hope, for sure. I, I hope you enjoyed the interview, man. I, I, yeah. I, hope, I hope you enjoyed it, man. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at the end of the day, like, we both got something in common. We both trying to grind to what we want to get. At the end yeah. of the day, it's a platform. So at for the sure. end of the day, what I just need you to do for me is this is what I'm going to say. Just yeah. please, when it come out, I'm going to send it to you, just repost it. Really of course, of course. Because I'm, I, because I'm trying to get everybody across the state to know that I'm, I, I'm here to talk. I'm, I, I'm just here to talk basketball, man. I'm talking, yeah. like, honestly, every sport. I mean, I mean, I'm here to talk. I'm just a fan of the high school sports scene. So, like, anybody, man, just let them know, like, hey, you, you, you want some good interviews? Good, 
good action. Yeah. Uh, who to tell him who to come to. I really appreciate you being on the show. So appreciate you. And I'm the easy corner. Follow yeah. on follow on Instagram, e the easy corner, Twitter, yeah. easy underscore corner one. I'm here with the baddest man, one of the best what one of the best guards in the state on one of the best teams in the country, Lancaster. Hopefully we see the matchup with them in high tower in the state semifinals. Yeah. Man, it, it, it's been it's been good. It's been great, man. Just subscribe on YouTube, all of it. All right? I appreciate sure. it, man. Appreciate you. Man, thank you. Yes.